Hi there, Simon from simonwoods.com. I have a couple of uh, Shirazes here. Uh, no, I don't. I have a Shiraz uh, from Australia, uh, and I have a Syrah uh, from South Africa. So same grape, but uh, they presumably, they call it Syrah because they think it has more in common with um, the French uh, style of wine, where it's, for France it's known as Syrah, than the Australian style, where it's known as Shiraz. Let's see. Anyway, better tell you what the wine is. Seven Springs... Um, Syrah, and uh, I'm not sure whereabouts, uh, region of wine of origin, Overberg. So, um, 2013, and let's give it a whirl. Deep, ripe, juicy, slightly savoury elements here. Um, uh, almost uh, slightly cooked tomato uh, alongside the uh, black currant, black brain plum. And um, there's a slightly spicy character there too. It feels like it's going to have a... Uh, it's 14% alcohol, uh, and it, but it still feels like it's going to have a refreshing quality. It doesn't feel like it's going to be one of those that bludgeons you around the head. And I look at the colour and, uh, yeah, de definite red wine rather than black wine. So it's four and a half years old now, we're, we're at end of August um, 2017. And it's starting to show a little bit of leathery maturity, but there's still this um, juicy edge to the, to the fruit that makes it quite satisfying. Um, quite as in the English term, that's really quite satisfying, or maybe really rather satisfying, that would be uh, more apposite. Um, and there, there is some tannin there, which um, I, some people would see that tannin in the wine and think, oh, it's built to go on for a little bit longer. Personally, I'd get in there now, because uh, what I think that the fruit has got at the moment is um, still got a little bit of freshness and perkiness, and um, I'd be... I'd be interested to see what happens to it with time, uh, but um, I would be, uh, if I had a large quantity of it, if I had a, a case or so, I'd rather have it on the sooner side rather than later and uh, find that some of those uh, those bottles five years from now are, have just lost too much fruit while that, that tannin remains. But, decent enough wine. Let's try the uh, Shiraz. So the Shiraz is the restless wine merchant. Shiraz from... Uh, Rattambuli in South Australia. That's a lovely name, isn't it? It sounds like a pub, but it's a, it's a region. Uh, let's see what this is like. It's this deeper, denser, inkier perfume. It's more it, uh, richer in colour. It's uh, not hugely more in alcohol. The Seven Springs was uh, uh, was fourteen percent. This is fourteen and a half. But it's a younger, uh, younger, gruntier beast. Spice, cloves, intense. Firm, powerful, juicy, gutsy, straight down the line, robust, hairs on your chest, Aussie Shiraz. Um, subtlety is not its forte, depth of flavour is its forte. If you want subtlety, the Seven Springs is the, um, is the one to go for. Here, it's got that slightly leathery edge to the tannins. It's not leathery as in the, the, the edge that you get with maturity, but you can, you can feel them in your mouth. Those, uh, uh, it, and then it's not rough tannin or anything like that, but it feels like it's a wine that you can chew rather than uh, uh, rather than let it slide around your mouth. I'm going to have another chew. And there's a little bit of chocolate in there, uh, chocolate coffee, um, probably a bit of an American oak influence. Um, personally, I prefer the Seven Springs, but I know lots of people who will prefer the. Um, throatier edge of the uh, of, of the restless wine merchant but um two nice shirazes or shiraz stroke syrah uh and uh, but as i say i'll be uh, leaning more towards the seven springs this evening but if there were other people around the table it's just going to be me and my wife tonight so there aren't um i think she'll veer more towards that but uh, i know lots of people who would veer the other way hey that's wine see you soon